morning, y'all. Good morning and happy Saturday to you. Welcome to Alicia's Crafty Hop Lob. If you're new here, we hope you feel super comfortable. To my returning folks, well, happy weekend, y'all. Happy weekend and what a weekend it is. First things first, uh, October 14th is National Dessert Day. And so I would suggest that you check your area. I know here in Florida, it's National Dessert Week. So a lot of places are offering uh, special deals like two for one or free Sundays or all different things that are being offered in, around the local community. So you may wanna check that out, especially if you've got kids and grandkids. It's a great time to sort of get them out to get some free ice cream or to get a deal on something that's a treat. I know the hubby and I have been spending time trying to find things to do. I know people with kids are struggling to find things to do. So I'm just suggesting that this week there are a lot of national companies offering specials. So you wanna check that out. Uh, if you're looking to make something at home, Life with Patty has a new recipe up. And for those of us non-bakers, I would say that Patty is actually better than most YouTube food channels. She makes baking very simple. Her brain is super logical. Her instructions are easy to follow. I've actually created a new file folder called recipes to be saving her recipes that I'm going to be trying. And this week she has an apple bun cake with this buttery topping. Again, super simple to make. Um, but Patty has lots of recipes saved on her channel. So you may want to take a look through that in celebration of National Recipe or National Dessert Week. And I will put a link to Patty's channel down below. Uh, I also want to say I've created a new Halloween file folder and everyone I'm about to do a shout out for, for Shout Out Saturday, uh, is saved in that folder. That's for two reasons. It's easier for you to watch the videos I mentioned, so you don't have to click on each one. You can just hit the file folder and they'll all pop up. Also easier on my hands, so I don't have to type out all the links individually. So I'm gonna draw your attention to a group of people that may be new to you. They were certainly new to me, except for one who is from our community. Um, so let's start out with Craft with Susie. She has these wonderful chunky Halloween embellishments, y'all. And she makes them chunky not using our typical fanning method or the Adriana Alvarez method of building up chunk. She does it using fabric and it's quite innovative. So that's Craft with Susie. Her chunky embellishments are super adorable. Uh, Pretty Paper Things has the most stunning embellishment book. I will tell you that each and every embellishment in this book is worth looking at. So inspiring, this video. I loved her mini books. I loved her rosettes with the bottle caps. I, but every single embellishment in this book is worth looking at and definitely it's very inspiring. So I've included that in the Halloween inspiration file folder. Crafty Planner Queen also has some gorgeous embellies. And what's nice about hers is that she uses everyday dyes but converts them into Halloween. So that's nice, especially if you don't have any Halloween dyes. This is going to give you a lot of inspiration because you can just take your regular dyes and, you know, she takes like things like coffee cups or, you know, cupcakes and makes them Halloween-y and that's terrific and it helps us use our dyes better. Sorry, the hubby has hiccups. All right, um, and the next one is Liz Russell. And I always say Liz Russell is a beautiful maker, y'all. Uh, you know, we may make in different styles, but she, her creations are always beautiful. She has these vintage sort of glamorous coffee spooky embellies that are just lovely. And so again, it's using an everyday dye for Halloween. She does a cluster of embellishments, but I'm just drawing your attention to that one because a lot of us have either a coffee cup stamp or a dye and she turns them into Halloween magic. So I included that one. And then last but certainly uh, not least, uh, we like Leanna It's a Deal has tons of great embellishments. So she has from last year, her embellishment shares are fantastic. But I loved her In Love Arts Design Team Project share. Her little emboli book that she built for them is just a stunner. It's just a stunner, y'all. So you wanna check out Leanna's projects, both of the ones she made last year and that emboli design team. Um, and that's included in the Halloween folder that I created. So you'll be able, if you watch the videos in that folder, you'll find it there. And Paper Lovely makes our typical tassel broom, but what I like that she does differently is she overlays a cobweb uh, die cut on top of it, and it just adds that little extra something something. So wanna draw your attention to that. It is the final week of Crafty Michelle's Halloween collab. And you know, if you know Crafty Michelle, then you know that whenever she does a collab, it always delivers inspiration. And this week she challenged participants, just like she challenged us, to make something from trash, trash to treasure. 
I have to tell you, I loved each and every project video that went up. Um, I'm, it actually was astounding. It's rare in a collab that you can say that you loved everybody's projects. I have to tell you, this week's finale projects are stunners. Each and every one is unique. Each and every one is different. They're all spectacular and worth watching. I'm gonna put a link to Crafty Michelle's channel. You'll be able to find all of the participants through her channel. Y'all, these projects, some of them will just take your breath away, but they're all beautiful and all of them are inspiring. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Now, y'all know it's our tag flip week for Heather's collab, and I love a tag flip. And my partner, Natasha, and I must have been on the same page. Uh, there's only one thing I like better than a tag flip, and that's a gift flip. And that's when you make a tag flip into like a way of including goodies to your partner. Well, that's exactly what Natasha's made for me. And if you haven't checked out her, her project video yet for this week, you want to. Because what Natasha's doing so well is she's using regular paper from her stash. And that's proof, y'all, that you don't need to go out and spend a ton of money on craft supplies to make Halloween crafts. She has made the most beautiful gift flip using paper from her stash. So I'm gonna put a link to that down below, but again, fabulous project, fabulous. As you know, I've been uploading mine in the evenings and uh, that's just because I think it's a nice time on Saturday night for people to have something to do and it seems to be working, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Cannot wait for y'all to see my tag flip, or AKA gift flip. Um, I don't know if y'all are watching Vintiquities. I'm gonna say I am blown away by this person's channel. I know a couple of you are watching it. I saw Nilda on her channel and a few others. But I'm gonna say this woman makes beautiful projects. And um, I'll put a link to her channel down below. You'll also find her in my Halloween folder. She does everything from Pastelloween to more vintage inspired projects. Such a beautiful maker, y'all. Truly a beautiful maker. You wanna check out her projects. I don't know what you all are up to this weekend. Um, you know, I've, I, we have a kind of odd weekend ahead of us. I haven't done much this week because of my hand. I am feeling a bit better today. I'm sure you can tell. Most of you can tell when I have more energy, I'm in less pain. Uh, I slept last night, so I, I certainly feel better, but I have to be careful not to push it. Well, you know, I have a tendency when I feel better to really push the envelope and that can cause a problem. So I'm gonna try to pace myself this weekend. It's gonna be a mix of, uh, because I haven't done much all week, you know, unfortunately there are things like house cleaning and laundry and the realities of life that have to be dealt with that I haven't had a chance to deal with, but I'm gonna make sure to craft every day too so that I don't lose my mind and just have to do household things. Um, I have a few fun finds for you that I wanted to share. Uh, I had my test yesterday at the hospital. A hospital happens to be very conveniently located right near a Hobby Lobby and in BT, which my husband thinks is a plot. <laughs> um, they've brought out the mini fillers, y'all, at the DT, at least at my DT. So they come in silver and in gold. I'm sharing this with y'all because if you are a shaker maker or you like to make um, snow globes or anything like that, you're gonna want these. You know, it's really inexpensive, $1. Again, we love these for packaging too. You can't go wrong. The other thing that I also got from there is Sully. Um, because if you're making snow globes and things like that, they've got wonderful characters in for a dollar. And uh, with a flat bottom that makes it easy to attach to the snow globe. So I'm using Sully for my Christmas ones, but they are all different characters that you can get. So I wanted to share that with you. At the Hobby Lobby, this is my new favorite tape. Now, I don't use it to seal all my packages because I learned from my post office manager that duct tape actually, if it goes from hot to cold, can actually lift. So I seal all of my packages with package, like proper packaging tape, and then I put this on top in case it comes off. But this is by The Art Project, and it's $2.99 a roll, so it's less expensive than duct tape. And I really just love this one, I keep buying it. Um, so I got that. And the only other thing I got was these, wood chips. Um, and I used my 50% off coupon, clearly, or, um, to get them. Why did I get this? Well, y'all, I have those distress glazes I was telling you about, the new ones from Tim Holtz, and I'm dying to try them out. When Misty got them, she sent me a photo. Uh, she sent it to both Susan and I so we could see, and I loved it, but I didn't realize that was the same thing. Somehow when this first came out, I thought this was liquid, but it's not. It's powder, just like our embossing powder. And I think the reason I thought that is because it dries like enamel, like glossy and funky. But I saw uh, Tim Holtz do a tutorial 
and took like these plain chips and made them magical. So that's why I got those to try them out. Um, so I got the new distressing. I will say something about this. I don't know why, maybe because this is so much more expensive than embossing powders. Like, you know, regular embossing powders run anywhere from $3.99 to $5.99. And that's if you don't buy them on sale, right? And we all know I'm frugal. Okay, these were like $6.99. They were on sale at scrapbook.com for five something, but they're pricey. I thought the jar would be bigger, y'all. I, I don't know, I'm trying to, I don't have my reading glasses on, hold on. And I don't have my reading glasses right here, but it's a real small amount for that. So I am gonna warn you, I'm certainly gonna be super careful to make sure I catch each and every granule in a coffee filter, because it's pricey. But I will say, after seeing Misty's stuff and also watching the video from Tim Holtz, I am super excited to test this out. So I'm gonna play with my new dyes and some of these, and hopefully I'll have something to share with you tomorrow. That, y'all, is my whopping long shout-out Saturday. Uh, I had a lot of shout-outs because there's so many fun things happening in our community. We're really fortunate. We truly are. It is also Miss Sheila's birthday weekend, so happy birthday, Miss Sheila. And it was Cruz's birthday, y'all, Crafting Con Cruz. So happiest birthday to you, Cruz. Um, you know, we're, we certainly are very blessed to be celebrating Miss Sheila's birthday after everything she's endured. It's a special birthday, y'all. So please join me in wishing her a happy and a healthy year, a year of getting stronger, and a year of creative happiness and joy. That's what I hope for you, Miss Sheila. You bless all of us each and every day with your positive spirit and your positive attitude and your beautiful creations. So I hope that the universe returns the same to you. All right, y'all, that is it for now. That shout out Saturday officially done. Wishing you a happy and a creative day and a healthy one too. And I'll see you later today with my gift flip. Bye, y'all.